You're going to feel some more of that uh, today. Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett joining us now with a look at the forecast. Uh, boy, it is just bitterly cold out there. No other way to cold. Put it. First hard freeze of the yeah. season. So I, I forgot to cover up some flowers and. Well, they're pretty sad for today. They're not going to be lasting long. And you know what? This cold air, it's not going to last long. We have another cold night tonight. Our temperatures today climbed their way into the upper 30s. That's the best we could do. You also notice some high-level clouds sticking around. Our temperatures right now across the Metroplex, just slightly above freezing. We're at 38 at DFW. Rockwell, you're at 37 degrees, 39 in Terrell. So the mid-30s to the low 40s. Granbury at 40 degrees right now to 37 in Decatur. So even though we have plenty of sunshine, this cold air mass is just just settled its way on in and we're still talking about a little bit of a wind chill in a couple of spots maybe by a couple of degrees still feeling though like the 30s and through the remainder of the night tonight our temperatures drop back down to near the freezing marker slightly above by seven to eight o'clock and then by nine we're down below freezing again calm winds on the way but a little bit more cloud cover will increase going through tonight and into tomorrow so with that cloud cover around it's still going to be cold for tomorrow morning I'm still forecasting about 25 to 27 degrees across the metro some of our outlying areas possibly in the low 20s again, but with that cloud cover in place and our winds turning southerly, we're not going to be as cold, but we were pretty cold this morning in the low 20s, so the mid 20s, and then I'm forecasting still wind chills possibly in the teens tomorrow morning for the bus stop. So definitely bundle up again when you step on out of the door. Another hard freeze on the way for tonight, and then tomorrow we start out at 27. Our temperatures then will climb into the low 50s hour by hour. You'll notice a mix of sun and clouds greeting you. South winds holding on near 10 to 15. That southerly wind is going to start to warm us up just a little bit, but you can see low. Low 50s. Let's take a look at across North Texas. That temperature forecast showing that we're only going to be in the upper 40s, possibly in McKinney to 49 in Sulphur Springs, 49 in Sherman, as well as Gainesville. So temperatures still well below average across North Texas, but some changes are on the way. High pressure is parked overhead right now. That's going to slide its way down to the south. And as it slides southerly, we start to see our winds then turn more southerly at the surface. And with that, that cloud cover increases. Now, this forecast model is trying to bring a little bit of rain in our south counties. I think this is a bit aggressive. We'll see the clouds sticking around those high level clouds. And then we have another cool front that passes through. It's not a big blast of cold air. We have really dry air that's going to be in place. So going into Thursday and then into Friday, another area of high pressure builds south into parts of the southern plains. But that's going to be warming us up going into Friday and then even Saturday and Sunday looking relatively nice. So the seven day forecast shows low 50s for Wednesday, Thursday 56, Friday 57 and then going into the weekend temperatures near the 60 degree mark. Small rain chances Sunday as that cold front moves through. But look at this by next Tuesday, Brooke's going to be happy because it's going to be 68 degrees and sunny skies. Hey, 68 sounds fantabulous. <laughs>